they're getting inspired to do something they didn't think they could do. They're getting turned on to engineering and science and math. I'm surprised on how nice everybody is. Here, everybody can be your friend. If I had to sum it up in one word, I'd say awesome. Eastern Washington's first robotics competition, First Robotics Means for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. This inaugural event attracting 46 teams from five western states to Eastern Washington University. Designed as a varsity sport for high school students, FRC combines the area's disciplines including science, technology, engineering, and math to create an exciting educational event. It's the first like major competition I've been in in like my entire life. They're getting tied to industry, they're getting great uh, experience there. They're getting uh, shoulder to shoulder experience with the expert, uh, technical expertise of our mentors. It's a playground of technology. Um, it's a place where nerds get to compete as sports heroes. One of our primary concerns with our school is, is really getting kids ready for life after high school, whatever they're going to be doing, and really just, uh, I think, expanding their horizons as to what opportunities are available to them. One of Dean Kamen's things when starting FIRST Robotics was getting young people involved in building and engineering and stuff, because there are people who go to college for engineering and they've never held a tool in their life. This year's competition was Rebound Rumble, where teams scored points by making baskets and balancing on ramps. While it was very competitive and exciting, it was the experience of participating, sharing, and learning that will be remembered. Just to be able to like come together with like people from all over the place and then just like compete and play basketball with robots. I've heard so many times uh, one kid talking to another is like, I made that or I designed that. And you know, you can't beat that feeling when you're, you're, when you're watching the kids talk to each other and say, That's, I did that. It's been pretty overwhelming as a rookie. We, we, uh, and I think the students would agree, we've, uh, to see this much energy and this much um, uh, involvement from all the people has been pretty overwhelming. We're pretty happy with how we did, but we were pretty humbled when we saw what the veteran teams did. So. So we're just, we're just trying to learn from what they do. Yeah, I used to be a sports coach. I, it was a paying position. I dropped that to continue this, to build this program. First is the best venue I've seen yet to get kids excited about hard technology and science and math problems. The mentors, they come from shops and businesses that do this for a living. So they come in and show us how to use the tools, how to be accurate, how to get everything to work together and work well. I'm doing this because I, I love technology and engineering and design. When they didn't know how to do something and they suddenly discovered it, they're pulling someone over, look what we can do, and, and, and the enthusiasm, it's amazing. This was really a good fit for our school because any kids we have that are in, interested in uh, engineering, mathematics, and, and science really gravitated to this program. A lot of my kids, in fact, one of them just told me now, another one of our sponsors hired one of our students right out of the program. So right now I've got four current members who are working for our sponsors uh, in their industry, and then I've got a lot of student members who work for our, one of our sponsors in their summer camp. It's a lot easier to get money from a sponsor for a technical, uh, where the kids are going to be engineers, where the kids are actually going to participate. I want to go to college actually here at Eastern Washington University, and I want to double major in electrical engineering and computer science, and I'm already doing that like small scale stuff here with like building a robot, wiring it, programming it. I was thinking about being a history professor at a major university or something, but this seems really interesting and I might have to change my plans. Great job. Hey, dog. Great job, guys.